what's up YouTube uh, it's been a while since I did one of these videos um, but I do want to continue these videos and keep this thing going so I can be transparent with um, with our subscribers and the people that do watch our content on both channels um, I really didn't take the time to fully explain what's going on uh, within our life within our household um, so this will be Real Talk episode five. Um, I will be bringing this back and doing this uh, at least once a week right now. Um, but, you know, before I get into that, I want to ask you a question and I want you to put it in the comments. If you feel comfortable enough to share um, in the comments, because a lot of people prefer to be private and that's fine. Are you voting? Who are you voting for? And why are you voting for them? Um, and, and if you can, give a detailed answer of why you're voting for Joe Biden or Donald Trump. And if you're not voting for either, still give me some details of why not. I just want to see the check the temperature of uh my subscribers and see uh, what type of mindset that they have when it comes to what we're getting ready uh, to endure this fall and winter. Um, who do we think is a, a good enough leader to pull us out of it? Um, and also I will share with you um, what my thoughts are. My thoughts are do you pick the lesser of two evils is my thought. Um, neither candidate to me is really, um, really going to help our situation here in this country, especially with this pandemic going on. Um, they have multiple opportunities as a government in general to help the people and they just refuse not to a lot of bickering back and forth between two parties. I've never been a real fan of Roman politics, but, um, the bickering between two parties can't come together and help the people, man. You got some that want to take, um, you know, the insurance away from, you know, people with pre-existing conditions and, you know, things like that. And it's just a little bit more detail into that, uh, but that's for another video. Um, but those are the thoughts that's going through Americans' minds. Uh, I lost my business. I lost my home. Um, I need help and I can't get it. My unemployment is not, um, it's not working. I can't get it. I never got my stimulus check. You have people that are going through this. You can't look at yourself and be selfish and, and, and only think about your own situation. Uh, you got to look at what's going on in our country to the people because the people are what makes this country operate. Um, a lot of government, um, a lot of uh, politicians could care less about the middle and lower class, uh, including our current president. He's not really for the middle and lower class, to be honest. Uh, when you look at all the details, he's not. He's really for the wealthy, um, which is, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's like it's not it's not nothing that we've never seen before. So <laughs> um, but, you know, when it comes to, to picking between the two. I'm at a point where I just don't even know which way to go, to be honest. Um, do I want to vote? I'm, I'm in between right now because like I said, I, I'm not, I'm not happy with either one of them, um, with Donald Trump or sleepy Joe. <laughs> so that's my personal opinion. You have yours, leave it in the comments. And that's that. <laughs> as far as me, my family, what's going on? I'm currently um, waiting for a second MRI, um, one with contrast this time. They want to take a look. Um, I have a new neurologist that took a look. And as far as the, the syrinx in my spine, he's he doesn't think that's really what's causing my issues. He believes it's because I have one of my discs, he, looks, he says, look uh, slightly deteriorated. Um, and by that, I may be irritating my nerves and it's causing it to go throughout my body. Uh, what happens with me is 
uh, if I if I do something the wrong way or turn the wrong way or sit up for certain positions too long or stand in a position for too long, the pain radiates throughout my body. Um, it could be my foot, it could be my arm, my finger, my uh, face, the back of my nose, nostrils. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, nerve pain is, is so weird, man. But uh, I know it's a lot of people. Uh, yeah, I think it's nearly uh, sixty percent of, uh, of Americans around my age and up experience some type of uh, issues when it comes to back, uh, spinal area, um, sore backs, things like that, nerve issues. So, yeah, um, I've done a lot of jobs over my lifetime. Uh, being a thirty-four year old man, I've done a lot. Um, since the age of 12 years old, man, uh, from laying concrete sidewalks and driveways to home improvement, uh, building houses from the foundation up, um, a lot of maintenance work, uh, all type of things, factories, warehouses. I've been multiple places, <laughs> man. Um, and I've done a lot and that's probably what's going on. That's probably what caused most of the wear and tear. Uh, what's going on with my spine. So sometimes I'm able to sit up like this, but sometimes I have to get a heating pad and I got to lay down. And what the problem is causing is my job, my job, it, um, I have to operate machinery, which I cannot do right now because of the medication, the gabapentin and the, um, the Motrin and the medications I take, I can't operate machinery at my job because it's a liability. Um, also, um, lifting, standing for long periods of time. Um, you can't sit down. You know, you can't just go sit down at my job. You can't do that. You gotta, you gotta keep moving. You gotta, you standing, you reaching up uh, constantly and bending down, and those type of things are not good right now for me. Um, until we figure out what's going on my back, so. Uh, it's to the point right now where, you know, I, I was on parental leave for uh, Zion and yeah, that's over with. <laughs> they only pay you for uh, six weeks. So that's over with. And I get paid bi-weekly. So that's really three checks, to be honest, that I got. And, and one of them wasn't even a full one. So uh, you know how bills are making care less about your situation or what you go through. So uh, right now, currently, I'm trying to find a way to get on some type of short term uh, disability until I can get some things together or get this thing to where um, I can operate. Uh, so that's the situation. That's the situation. I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Frank Royster, man. You've been, I mean, beyond a blessing, blessing to me and my family, man. Uh, the donations that you send every week you just don't understand how much it helps us right now uh my wife she's currently still on maternity leave um and she'll be working from home until next year so that's an absolute blessing for us uh but for my situation i gotta figure out uh uh something that's why you'll be seeing more youtube content from me um on both channels because that could turn into also income <laughs> But I'm not afraid to get in front of the camera and tell people the real what's going on with me and my family, man. Uh, we're holding up, you know, our bills, our bills are getting paid, even though it sucks to live in, in uh, the metro Detroit area because these houses, the, the amount that you pay a month for these houses and you look at the houses, it's just like, come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm getting robbed here. <laughs> uh, you know, once, uh, you know, the cost of living is, 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 is so, so uh, un unrighteous. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, but yeah, that's the real deal. And that's what happens in real life for some of us, man. Some of us are wealthy. We don't have to worry about these things, but some of us, we know the struggle, you know what I'm saying? Me and my wife, you know, we literally went step by step, you know, me and my wife, we started out our first place together was a motel. Me and my wife lived in a motel together, man, uh, over 15 years ago. And we went from there to a studio apartment, uh, to a two bedroom, to a two bedroom in Inkster and to a, a three bedroom townhouse in Taylor, Michigan. Um, and then we got our first house and that's the house that we just moved from, um, in Dearborn Heights. So we've literally been going step by step, man. The most high has been guiding our hand. 
Um, but through hard work and through teamwork, me and my wife have taken necessary steps to move farther and farther and better uh, ourselves for our family. Um, that we are not going to be the typical people that don't want to create a family uh, based off income. That's not the way we are made. That's not the way it's intended to be. Uh, God produced us to produce. <laughs> so um, we're not going to let that make us scared of making a family. So when a lot of people see my kids and how many kids I have, you know, the selfishness comes out and say, oh, why you got so many kids, man? I can't do all of that, man. It costs too much and this and that. That's not what I'm thinking about. Um, I'm not thinking about costs. That's not what I'm made for. That's not what we know. That's not what we on this planet for. Um, we on this planet for a purpose and it's not about how much money you can make and how big your house is. <laughs> Uh, you're on this planet for a purpose and you know for the non-religious people it's just a natural thing to you know you know you are here to produce a family and to live life uh, you're not here to work until you die that's just not what we put here for so having my kids and as an extension of me uh, brings me joy it brings me a lot of joy in my house uh, to be married to my wife and, and have children with her it's, it's a joy that I just can't explain. And I never understand uh, some of the people that don't take the time to raise their kids or be with their kids. A lot of deadbeat parents out here um, that shove their children off. And I just can't understand that thought process because of how I feel about my children. So, um, you know, everybody is different, but that's just from my standpoint. So, yeah, real talk session, man. I already went 12 minutes. Uh, but yeah, that's the situation. That's the situation. Not afraid to come on here and tell y'all what's going on. So when you don't see me on here as often, it's usually tied into some type of uh, business that I'm trying to take care of, or I may not be filling up to it at that point because this thing is tricky and it's on and off. Someday I feel like I feel great. I went out and cleaned my garage one day uh, earlier last week and and the next day or the the, the uh, next two days, I was in the bed on the heating pad. So <laughs> it's just how it works, man, when you're dealing with these back issues and, um, well, spine issues. And uh, it's a tricky thing. So once again, I just want to say thank you for everybody who uh, watched this channel, man. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, man. We love you guys. We just play, we, we pray that, you know, you guys um, continue to elevate yourself in life, man. Uh, life is not promised to any of us. So we pray that you continue to elevate yourself in life and build a relationship with the creator. Um, if you're not religious or, or not, uh, if you're religious or not, we, we know someone created us. So build a higher power spiritually with that creator. Um, and and enjoy life enjoy life so that's my message this is real talk episode five i'll see you guys in the next one